Welcome back to the receive side of the DNT M40 FMCB radio from 1981. Well, you wouldn't believe what I did yesterday after I'd done the transmit side. I did the receive and I forgot to press the record button on the video recorder. So I've actually done this behind the scenes, but we'll go through it again the next day to show you what the receive alignment points are. So let's turn that back over. The first thing we have to do, because this is a multi-crystal arrangement on the synthesizer mixer, is to set the receive frequency. So as I said, with the transmit side, we're setting 10.24 on transmit. We've done that. We set the mixer crystal there, which is CV3, for the correct transmit frequency, having got 10.24 correct. So now we need to set the receive with CV2 here. So with this signal generator on we're on channel 20 on the radio with the signal generator on 27.79125 and with a marker oscillator which is in my case a 455 kilohertz signal generator which we have which is an elderly Pi instrument here Just zoom out so you can see that as you can see we've got 455, 23.455 and 10.7 well because CB is 10.695 so we use the 455 kilohertz one the alternative would be to rig up a lead to one of the other signal generators on one of the other test benches for 10.695 but on this radio 455 works very well as the marker oscillator input so I'll just go that through that with you when I've set this up so having set the IF signal generator up I've just put the lead in the vicinity of the 455 kilohertz part of the radio and I've deliberately detuned it so you can hear the effect and I've got the volume pretty high so you can hear this so now adjusting CV2 which is the receive frequency we'll switch it I have signal generator on you hear that musical note that's now on frequency if I take the trimmer the other way and back where we came from so that's now set on frequency so we'll disconnect that Right, the other adjustments, and as I've already done these yesterday, I'll put the signal generator's tone back on. This is the normal signal generator. So we're on 27.79125. So at the moment, that's a 10 microvolt signal. We'll turn the signal generator down to 0 0.3 microvolts, which of course is pretty good going. I'm using a cyanide meter connected to an oscilloscope. So now we'll adjust L1, L2, L3, use the other tool. And then putting a big S9 signal on the signal generator, it says that's 100 um, microvolts in this case. I'm going to set the detector for maximum on the maximum audio output on the oscilloscope. This oscilloscope is just connected straight across the speaker terminals. I'm looking for the maximum sine wave. The detector coil is L5. there we have maximum output 
the other IF adjustment which shouldn't need adjusting is that now the trans uh, the receive meter for the uh, S meter is the lower preset there on transmit it was the meter it was that one on receive it's that one so we're looking for S9 I've put an S9 equivalent signal on the signal generator so we want S9 on the meter and I'll just get my head around that And there we have S9. Now these radios also have a DX local, which is an RF gain switch. And you'll see if I switch that to local, the meter will indeed drop. So it does actually work. So that really covers the receive. I don't think there's a squelch adjustment on these sets. I, I can't uh, see anything we haven't covered. No. So we'll just check the squelch performance. I'll just drop the signal generator to next to nothing. Set the squelch. Put the signal generator back on. It's coming in at 30 microvolts. Now we'll set the squelch for... Set, uh, for um, Threshold. That's threshold. See when that comes in. Comes in at one microvolt. So that's working fine. So that's all there is to it. What we'll do next is to get the um, case looking a bit better. And I noticed the screws wanted the re-threading. I've got a, a, a tap for that. Uh, at the end of the day, this is the radio that's come out of the scrap bin. So we've resurrected it, and in a couple of days' time I'll do an on-the-air video with it. So thank you for watching, that's the DNT-M40.